cut it in half and then I make the Triskelion out of that. I've proven it with energy sensitive people. I've made a Triskelion where it, they all go in one direction. I make two that go in the same direction and I make the other one go in the opposite direction. And, and I have them tested. No energy. This is filled, the inside of the orgone generator here is filled with a metal matrix, completely filled inside, and crystals, and some proprietary things. And that's what makes it so much more powerful. In addition to the extra crystals that I put in here, the coils at the top here, remember energy is always going in a vortex. So it's moving up through up through here and these coils as the energy comes up it's just like it's getting a kick in the pants there's four coils here and it's energizing it even more and then I put in uh, some four more coils on the bottom here Triskelions, four Triskelions. The Triskelion is an ancient water sign it's been carved into stones for oh you find them in Ireland going back 1,000, 1,500 years. And they find the Triskelion symbol around the world hacked into stones. But they think it's a, an ancient water sign, may go back, who knows, to uh, Atlantis or Lemuria or to some, some other civilization that uh, popped in here and gave us a bit of information or left something behind. And it, it has energetic properties. You can, you can take one of these coils, put it in your hand and douse it. And somebody who's energy sensitive, if you put that Triskelion into their hand, they can feel the energy just by itself. And I've proven that, that um, and the coils are all made to the, um, the sacred cubit, the Egyptian measure, which is 20.63 inches. And I take, uh, I cut it in half and then I make the Triskelion out of that. So I've, I've proven it with energy sensitive people. I've made a Triskelion where it, they all go in one direction. I make two that go in the same direction and I make the other one go in the opposite direction. And, and I have them tested, no energy. They have to be made all in the same direction. And you have to have the same ratio well, I'm not so sure about that. I think even if the ratio is off, it would still provide energy, but it's better to use the, the more exact ratio. The crystal in, inside sets up a vortex. Everything in the universe is a vortex. There's no straight line. Nothing moves in a straight line. That's something we learn and we think, but there are no straight lines. Everything is curved. And when you come to energy, it also moves in the vortex. You look at the galaxies, the stars, everything moves in a circle. The earth revolves, everything moves in a circle. Energy moves in a circle. Although there's energy coming out laterally, there's also more energy as it spins goes up vertically and people can feel it. Energy sensitive people can feel it. But you don't have to worry about the energy because it goes everywhere. It's not something we can measure, it's something we can feel. And that's why we need energy sensitive people and especially people who have used a pendulum for, for a long time. They get very good at it. And um, the feedback they get is, is quite accurate. Better that than some, some silly instrument, you know, that we would like. Uh, our logical mind wants to have an instrument because we live in a world where everything can be measured. It's better that we can't measure some of the things that they remain mysterious, but at least we can utilize them and uh, benefit from them. So you have one of these in the house, I mean, that this thing will radiate for a mile. Who knows, I don't know, but a long ways. I, I don't even care to know how far. I just know that it works for, you, 
your living room, your entire house will be taken care of. I personally uh, like multiple OGs, smaller ones, and scatter them about the house because they, um, they pool their energy. If you have one in the bedroom and you have one in the living room and one in the kitchen and one in the basement, they will synchronize their frequencies wherever they are and they will act like one large one. So I'm not poo-pooing having a large one. You're fine if that's the way you want to go. But I also like the idea of scattering more than one about your living space. I've read quite a bit about people who set up crystal grids, but they're going by their own intuition. I can't get into their headspace into they know how to set this up because it feels right, it feels proper, and it's unique to that person. I've seen a, a, a youngster do that, he was very young, he was about, gosh, I don't think he was more than five, six years old, and he set up a, a huge crystal pattern with, there must have been 100, 150 crystals in this pattern that he built. And they asked him, uh, oh, how do you know where to put that? And he says, I just know. I just know how to put it. Yeah, he just knows. So there, there isn't a specific pattern as such, because the person who is setting up the crystal grid knows how to do it. There is no book. There's no teacher. It comes from within. And that's all you need to know. That's good. <music>